Hi, and welcome to Wageningen at University and Research. I'm Julia, and today I'm joined by people from the Master's Program of Aquaculture and Marine Resource Management. But first, we're going to start off with a brief introduction. Hi, I'm Vera, and I'm a study advisor for Aquaculture and Marine Resource Management. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm from Germany, and I study aquaculture here at Wageningen University. So what is the main focus of this program? Well, the main focus of this program is the sustainable use and conservation of aquatic systems and resources. And Paul, why did you decide to study? Well, fish is my passion since I'm a very young boy, actually, and I was looking for the best aquaculture education in Europe, and there are not so many universities, and yeah, that's why I'm here. Nice. And are there different specializations within the program, or...? Well, we have three specializations. The first one is agriculture, the second one is marine resources and ecology, and the third one is marine governance. And if you focus on agriculture, uh, that means you will, uh, we, we will be dealing with uh, culturing aquatic organisms. That means that you have to know a lot of physiology, animal physiology, you learn about uh, technological issues related to the production sy systems, but also the management that is involved. Um, if you are uh, focusing on marine resources and ecology, that means that uh, you will learn a lot about the human impact on uh, aquatic systems and aquatic species. Uh, so that means that you will do a lot with population modeling, uh, ecological uh, issues will be dealt with, and you will focus on uh, ecosystem uh, services. And if you uh, are more into governance, that means, uh, so you can do the governance specialization, right. of course, uh, and that relates to uh, legitimate decision-making processes uh, in the marine areas. So, for instance, it could be on uh, eco-certification. Could you tell me a little bit more about how the program is structured? So, yeah, um, everyone starts with the same three courses um, because we have a lot of people coming from a lot of different uh, bachelors. Uh, so we want to have them all on the same page. And that's what we do with it, those three courses. They focus on both biological issues, uh, uh, governance issues, and also technological issues. And after that, you can specialize in one of those three specializations. And besides that, there's also some space for optional courses that relate to the program or, or, or don't. Wow, so it sounds like there's a lot of flexibility. Yeah, there is. And then, Paul, what's your favorite course that you've done so far? Well, my favorite course is called Aquaculture Production Systems. So the students get a real small research relation aquaculture system. They have to grow fish for a certain period, and they have to combine it with a photo bioalgae reactor. And it's a very practical approach, and the students really have to understand what's going on in these systems. And I think it's very applicable also in the industry and in the future. What are some recent examples of thesis topics that students have done? Uh, well, someone went actually to Bonaire and did their uh, coral reef uh, restoration project. Uh, there's someone else who did uh, a, a project on plant-based fish feed, uh, which is more sustainable than fish-based fish feed. And currently there's also someone working, for instance, on regulation management for reducing bycatch. And that is the way you can fill out your second year because you will be doing a thesis and an internship or a minor thesis if you want to. Would you say there's a lot of international opportunities for your thesis and internship? Yeah, for sure. A lot of students go abroad. That sounds really nice. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and so after students graduate, what does the job market look like in terms of fields or opportunities? Well, also the job market is quite internationally oriented. Uh, some people work on an agriculture uh, uh, agriculture organization. So there's someone is, for instance, a production manager in uh, Singapore. Um, uh, some people work on eco-certification. Uh, there's someone currently working on the Marine uh, Stewardship Council, MSC. Maybe you know the label. Um, there, you can also focus on uh, communication uh, related issues in the marine areas. So someone is working in AgriTT in Dublin. Uh, here in Wageningen, there's a quite a big research center, Wageningen Marine Research. They uh, and there's also a lot of students uh, working there on all sorts of topics, and you can also be, for instance, a policy advisor for the European Union in Brussels. So for these examples, um, that's yeah, there are a lot of international options. And if a student wants to find out more about possible job the alumni are doing, so they could get a better um, understanding of their job opportunities, what could they do? Well, we actually have a booklet. Uh, it's a, You can see it online, and it's a, a collected stories of our alumni and what they are currently doing. So it gives you a, bit of pic a better picture of what uh, the options would be after the finishing this program. 
So, Paul, how would you say the contact is with the teachers here at Bachania? Well, I think the contact is very close because you do not see such a hierarchy like it sometimes is, like a teacher and the students are below. It's more like working together on projects, like developing your career together with the teachers. And I really like this close contact with them, and they are always open for questions. It's not like, okay, you have to talk like Mr. or someone. It's like, okay, hey, Ed, how's it going? It's more like a fr friendly basis now. And how is studying in Bachani in general? Well, when I came here, I felt very welcome. And um, even though it's uh, a tough study, it's, it's not super easy. Of course, it's not. But uh, uh, it's a good study. So you learn a lot, and you have to organize yourself. And I think you really uh, improve yourself during the two years of a master program here. So do you still find time to do things outside the classroom? Yes, not much, but I find some, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, yeah, and I think the um, university offers many things that you can do. For example, they organize pub quizzes or they show movies at the sport or you can uh, rent a barbecue place and have a barbecue with your friends and that's also very nice actually. Nice, I'm going to have to look into that. Yes. <laughs> for students looking into this program, what specific uh, bachelor's programs are you looking for? Well, there are quite some uh, students that did something with biology or uh, marine or environmental issues before in their bach bachelors. But as I said before, it's quite interdisciplinary. Uh, so people from the, with, that have more of a governance background can enter the program. But also people that have a more technological or a biological background can enter the program. Sounds nice. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. But I hope you learned something interesting. Thanks and hope to see you soon.